In today's video, we're going to cover the quickest method to get a competitive ready Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Now, in Scarlet and Violet, we've had a bunch of improvements within how we train up competitive Pokemon. There are better ways for leveling up your Pokemon. EV training is a bunch easier. Egg moves aren't really egg moves anymore. They're transfer moves. We've had a bunch of really good quality of life improvements. And one of those is being able to just go out, catch any Pokemon in the wild and train it up completely ready to go into competitive play in a matter of minutes. So we're going to cover everything from start to finish in today's episode right jumping into game we need an example to use for this guide and a popular pokemon in competitive at the minute is hydreigon so we're gonna go and get ourselves a dino which are located down in alfernada town or near alfernada town in the cave system just opposite the town so once we're in alfernada town which is located here on your paldea map you are gonna want to head to this cave system right in front of you over here and unfortunately dino is a scarlet exclusive so I do apologize ahead of time to all you Violet players out there, but this method can be applied to literally any Pokemon in these games to get them competitively ready in a matter of minutes. And you can see it's taking like two seconds for us to locate a Dino. The whole purpose of this is it doesn't matter which Dino we're going to catch. For the purposes of this video, we are just going to catch any Dino. Okay, there we go. Timer ball coming in clutch with our critical catch and we've got our Pokemon. Like I say, you can do this with any single Pokemon from a Terror Raid, from a Wild Encounter, from an Egg. So once you've got your Pokemon, it's probably a good idea to do this in the post game because it makes it a lot easier. You're going to want to check the ivs of your pokemon in the nature etc to see what you're going to need to change so move my camera quickly just to see we've got a quirky nature here and no perfect iv so no good no good nature or anything the terror type is all right though if you wanted to go with a dark terror type so that is something else that will change in this video so now we know the evs the first place that we're going to want to head to is mesa goza west and from here we're going to want to go to the deli bird presents store and we are going to want to pick up some bottles caps now this is a really fast way to train any pokemon competitively but it will cost a lot of money poker dollars so you're gonna have to have a bunch of money there are guides on the channel if you want to check the money farming guides out and other ways to get a bunch of money to make this method really quick here is the deli bird presents store and you want to just come in and we want to go to general goods because that's where the bottle caps are now looking at our dino we have no perfect iv so we're going to need five bottle caps if you want to go for the whole hog you can do perfect six iv hyper trained high dragon then that's fair enough you can but you're kind of wasting the bottle cap because you're not really going to be using high dragon as a physical attacker most of the time anyway you might make a random high dragon that is a physical attacker but for the most part you're going to be playing off that special attack so you can forget about the attack stat the next place that we want to go with these bottle caps is montenevera and it is located here and this is where the hyper trainer npc character is located and you're going to be able to as long as your pokemon is above level 50 then you're going to be able to use these bottle caps to max out the ivs on your pokemon as you can see in our party our dino is actually level 40 so we're not able to max out its ivs yet one of the things that you're going to have to do obviously is level your pokemon up to level 50 if you are playing vg or if you want it level 100 then that is the other option we could go to level 50 but we have to get dino to level 65 anyway so we may as well just go to level 100 and we'll just use the xl candies that we've got here to do that now xl candies Large candies and rare candies are all going to be item drops that you're going to get from terror raids, which are going to be something easily accessible around the region. And, you know, you're going to be doing it anyway to get your competitive Pokemon. So it's a good idea just to use these when you've got access to them. And you'll see now we're going to be able to get our Dino into Zuelos and then if we use a rare candy, if you get yourself into a situation like this where you've got it to level 100 and it's only the second stage evolution, you think, oh, well, how can I get it to evolve again? All you need to do is drop a rare candy on it. And I should have thought of this beforehand, so I don't need to waste the rare candy. But it's a good example for this video if you're ever stuck in this situation. Just use a rare candy on it 
and it will evolve into its final stage, even if it is on level 100, that will just trigger the final evolution. So we do have a Hydreigon. We know it's got no EVs, we've not used it in battle or anything like that, so it's got a blank slate to work off. The first thing, like I say, is head over from the Pokemon Center to this NPC character here, and he will offer to hyper train your Pokemon, maxing out the IVs, as long as your Pokemon is level 50 or above. So we will choose Hydreigon. We've bought our bottle caps in Mesa Goza, so we just need to use them on HP, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed, start training. As I say, we can forget about the attack stat, and that can be applied to anything. If you've got a Snorlax, you're not really gonna be using the special attack stat, so you can forget about that. Just max out the other five stats. And if we go back into our box now, We'll be able to see with the IV judge function, if I move my camera out once again, we've got hyper train stats in every stat that we really need it to be. Okay, now the next thing is EV training and then it's nature as well. And then it is pretty much ready other than the move set. So from the Pokemon Center in Montenevera, you wanna come up to this Chansey supply store in Montenevera. And this is the place that will sell everything you're gonna need from Ma nature mints which you'll be able to change the nature of your Pokemon. We're gonna go with a timid nature for our Hydreigon. They do cost 20,000 Poké Dollars each, so they aren't super cheap, but they aren't really expensive either. And then the next thing that we're gonna have to do is get a bunch of vitamins for EV training. So this Hydreigon, what I want is max special attack. So I'm gonna need 26 calcium and max speed. So I'm gonna need 26 carbos and then we'll have one left over. So we'll bang that in HP. So we've got our nature mint, we've got our vitamins and now we just wanna give them to our Hydreigon. You can see Hydreigon stats before we start this. You can see these are the stats. If you press the L button on this screen, it will bring you over to the EV section. Now we've got no EV, so nothing showing here, but you can see the raw stats. The speed is 232 and the special attack is 286. First thing we're gonna do is give it the Timid Nature Mint and that will give it a 10% boost in speed and reduce a 10% stat in attack. But the attack is something that we don't mind, so that's why we're using it and we'll change it to timid. Now the thing is with the nature mints, you might get a little confused, but just to make you aware if you are using them, if you are looking on the summary screen and think, oh, it's still saying quirky nature, it will never change its actual base nature, but if you look on its stats, you'll see there'll be a little red arrow on the stat above speed here. That indicates that that's the nature that you've got is given a boost to speed and the reduction is a blue down arrow, which is on attack. So a boost in speed, drop in attack, we know that nature is timid on this Hydreigon now, even though it doesn't show in the summary screen for some reason, which it never has done. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna feed this Hydreigon the vitamins that we've got. So we already planned out its EV spread, which is pretty straightforward. So we want those 26 carbos here, and that will max out its speed, and then calcium, maxing out its special attack, and we'll give it HP as the last one here for that. If we go back into the Hydreigon now, we can have a look at its stats once again. And you can see its speed now is 324 and its special attack is 349, so a massive increase. If we click on the L trigger again to see the EVs, you can see you've got sparkling animations over the stats that you've maxed the EVs out in. So special attack and speed is where we've maxed it out. It has got that timid nature. The only thing that we need to do now is sort out its moveset. And that's where you're gonna wanna come to the Pokemon Center if you are relying on TMs. If you're not relying on TMs, you can do it from the summary screen and you can go into just click here and remember moves and it'll give you a list of every single move that this Pokemon learns through level up and you'll be able to teach it to this Pokemon. Otherwise, you can use just TMs to craft the moveset that you want. So Dark Pulse is a key move for Hydreigon. You're gonna get most of the TMs that you want for the Pokemon that you're gonna train up throughout your playthrough. You get a lot of them unlocked through just completing the game. Uh, other ones, you're gonna have to go and visit the league representatives at certain Pokemon centers by beating different 
players around each area and that will unlock different TMs and things like that. And Draco Meteor is another attack that we want on our High Dragon of a Dragon Pulse. You can keep Dragon Pulse, it depends what you want. Draco Meteor are a bit more powerful though. And the final two moves we don't have, so you can use the TM machine if you need to. And in the TM machine, you'll be able to see a list of every single move you'll have unlocked in the game. Now, Protect is a move that we're gonna wanna put on a High Dragon. It is quite an important move in competitive play, especially in VG, not so much singles, but in VG in particular. So we are gonna teach this to High Dragon. Okay, and Flash Cannons, the last move. Like I say, you can use Terror Blast if you want, but at least when you're not terrestrialized, you've still got access to Flash Cannon, which can do good damage outside of the other two moves that you've got. So forget Crunch. The move set is complete. It's EV trained. It's got the nature that it wants. It is pretty much competitively ready with that Terra Dark typing as well. But like I say, we want to change the Terra type on High Dragon, and that is going to be one of the next things to do before it is complete. Now we have covered how to change Terra types on the channel already, but just for the purposes of this video and keeping everything encompassed here, throughout your playthrough, you'll find rare item drop that are going to be these Terra shards, and specifically, you're going to get more of them from doing Terra raids. Now you're going to need 50 of a particular Terra Shard to change the Terra type of a Pokemon. Uh, we are going to change this High Dragon's Terra type to Steel. And to do this, you want to come down to Medali Town and you want to visit the Medali Treasure Eatery, which is located in this town. If you beat the normal type gym, you will know where this restaurant is. It's an easy place to find right next to this Pokemon Center here in Medali. I'll just bring up the map and it is this building right here next to it. So we want to just head over there. Like I say, it's not difficult to find when you come to Medali and you want to just come inside and you want to talk to the chef at the top of the restaurant over here. And this chef, when you come in for the first time, will give you 50 normal Terra Shards. It's kind of like just a welcome bonus. But every time you come back, as long as you've got 50 Terra Shards in any type, you will have the option here to change uh, the Terra type of a Pokemon that you want. So I brought Steel Terra Shards that I've got. I've got 50 of them ready to go and they were just collected from doing random steel terror raids and it didn't take very long to get these especially if you've got good pokemon to solo the raids with and if you want to check out a guide for what pokemon are strong to run through five and six star terror raids then check it out it'll be linked above in the right hand corner now for those details on those pokemon so click on the pokemon that you want and then he will work his magic the chef and turn it into a steel type and that will be that and literally it is that quick where we have now got a fully trained competitive pokemon in minutes honestly it hasn't taken long from catching the dino to getting it to level 100 to hyper training it to getting the perfect move set for it and you can even use pp ups on something like the draco meteor as well it's probably a good idea if you are going into competitive to make sure that you are maxing these out but again this is an item that is very readily available and this whole method as you can see, the High Dragon is ready to go into comp now. You just need to get the battle items for this Pokemon. You can see the moveset is already there. It is EV trained perfectly and it has got that change Terra type. Now to get battle items for your Pokemon, they're available in a bunch of places. The Deli Bird Presents stores, they do supply them. Mesagoza West, Cascarafa City are two main places where you're going to get these battle items so we'll come to cascarafa first and i'll show you where you can get the majority of different battle items that are going to be useful these range from things like leftovers and this is the deli bird present store here if you open your map you're going to be able to see where we are located and you're going to get a different selection in the different deli bird present stores you can see battle items is one of the options you're going to get magnet hardstone a bunch of things that are going to help leftovers there bright powder if you want to run sand veil guard chump and sandstorm don't do it utility umbrella air balloon shed shell the power herb items mental herb white herb mirror herb absorb bulb so you get the idea you get a bunch of items as well as the seeds as well so for terrains and things like that and then the other place that we're going to stop by and get the rest of the battle items that are available is back in mesagoza west where we originally went to get those bottle caps so deli bird presents store back in mesagoza west where we originally were we go into battle items and you're going to get all of the other battle items that are going to be useful for you to use in competitive play the one that we're specifically looking for is the life orb it is a bit more expensive 50,000 to get it but it is a good 
worthwhile one to get. You've got the clear amulet here, ability shield as well, as well as many other really useful items that you're gonna be using in competitive play with your Pokemon that you're gonna take into battle. So final thing to do is just go find a life orb and that is the high dragon ready to go take in put in a team and start battling in competitive and like i say you can use this method with any single other pokemon use the same method and obviously there are ways to make this a bit cheaper you can ev train your pokemon out in the wild we've done a full guide on that on the channel so you can check that out it will be linked in the description as well as experience farming as well to save on the xp candies and rare candies and things like that and also a breeding as well so if you've got yourself a good five or six iv ditto you can breed your pokemon to save buying bottle caps so there are ways to make it cheaper but if you want to just do a quick fix get a pokemon and get it competitively ready in no time at all this is the way that you're going to do it and it is super quick super easy and you're going to have a team of six pokemon although it might cost you a little bit of money you're going to have them ready in no time at all so i hope you found today's video useful friends if you have please drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel do subscribe for more pokemon scarlet and violet content thank you so much for taking the time to come and check out this video i really appreciate it and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves bye bye